okay so here we have a DAC 2021 question paper and question number six we are trying to solve they've given a right angle triangle that is two equal sides of one inch one of the sides drawn horizontally is divided into n plus one equal portions on each portions after the first a rectangle is formed with the height equal to the vertical distance from the left hand portion of the hypotenuse of the triangle so find some of the areas and its limiting value okay so here one triangle is like this and one unit wise it is reducing and the same thing happening over here so that's one one two three in that way is going down so width of the rectangle is which is being formed is one by n plus one height of the first rectangle is equal to 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 so that is n by n plus 1 height of the second rectangle 1 by 2n plus 1 so n minus 1 by n plus 1 ok so in that way right of the nth rectangle is 1 minus n by n plus 1 so this will be 1 by only n plus 1 okay so some of these areas will be one by n plus one taking common one by n plus one two by n plus one dot 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 n by n plus one okay so This is the final sum, we can take n plus 1 common and 1 plus 2 dot 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 n. So n into n plus 1 by 2, so finally it will be n 2 into n plus 1. So if you just try to match up with this, so 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 by n will go with it as n tends to. So some of the areas will be equal to half. So... That's case. And this option is correct. Let's go to question number seven. Which of the following true if mod x equal to one, y equal to this, which of the following is true? So in these kind of questions, uh, so let's go for the expansion first. x square plus 2x is q by 3 minus this. This goes to infinity. So y equal to log of 1 plus x. So 1 plus x equal to e to the power y. So x equal to e to the power y minus 1. So 1 plus y by, sorry, 1 by factorial 1 y square by factorial 2 dot 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 minus 1 so in this case it will be y by 1 factorial y square by 2 factorial only in that way y to the power k by k factorial where k equal to 1 to infinity clear so your directly matches up with option number 3